What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Farming Simulator video, and today we're on my single player server, or map, I guess is what you'd say, and uh, I'm just finishing up here, field 24, oh, there we go, yep, field 24, just finished it up, I uh, just harvested it um, for, was it James Harris, let me check him out, yep, so i am just been doing quite a bit now on like trying to get extra fields and whatnot, and so I think I'm going to call it good right here and buy this field. Uh, we dropped it down quite a bit. Uh, I think that what, uh, the last thing I just did dropped it from 78.5 to like 76.5, so it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, we're just going to, I'm going to borrow a quick, what is it, 10k from the bank. Go here, borrow, borrow, all right. Then, let's buy this, uh, what's the time for this mission? We could probably do this mission in like four-ish minutes, um, but, what does he give us, 4k? It'll only drop, yeah, we won't really save that much money by doing it, it'll waste a lot of time too, um, so let's buy this field. Alright, so we now own this field. First thing we want to do, oh, he's currently working, well... Let's go buy a new cultivator, actually. Um, you guys have been telling me to do this. Also, we're probably going to buy a new header. Some of you guys actually got pretty annoyed that I was using, um, uh, like, the Case IH header on the, was it the Roastal Mash? Um, I don't blame you. I would be annoyed, too, if I saw that. So, we're probably going to be buying a new a Roastal Mash one um, and get rid of our old Case IH one. So, let's go, actually, let's go see if we can find it really quick. Where is it at? Are we leasing it? Are we... Did we buy that puppy? Uh, there it is. Oh yeah, cause yeah, we got that with the game. So I think it was. Um, you know what? Let's sell this pallet fork. We don't need that, cause the bale spikes work for it pretty good. Silage cutter, we can sell that. We already make silage really easily. And then the regular bucket right here, we're gonna sell that one too. All right, we're just basically going through cleaning house here real quick. Um, we're gonna want to keep, we're gonna want to keep this for whenever we need to get some more hay, which will probably be coming up here. We need all these. We need that little water house. All right. And then here's our special one. All right. So everything looks good. Um, actually, let's go check leased items. All right. We have a lot of leased items, actually. Oh, our truck's leased. I not, I did not remember that. All right. So. We should be good then. Let's go to where is cultivators at? Right here. Um. Oh, and for those you don't know, plows make fields, and cultivators basically till them up and get them ready for harvesting, or the next sowing. Or not, yeah, yeah, planting, not harvesting, planting. All right. So the one we currently have right now is the coon one, I think. No, no. We have the coon, or I. Th yeah, we have the coon one. Yeah, yeah. Cause you're right there. All right. So. That's a three uh, meter diameter. We want some with a much larger diameter. So I'm looking over here. This is about three times the size of it, but it also costs a crazy amount more. See, do we have any of the big bud stuff in here? We do. Yeah, the big bud stuff is huge. Can we use it instead of a plow? Yep. Oh, and you can use this one as, so it doubles as a plow and, okay, okay, okay. I got this now. I understand. Alright, so this one requires a lot more horsepower, which I don't really like. Because 300 is a lot. Okay, so let's go with this one, actually. We will lease it right now. Alright, so we got a new one of these. Um, which probably means... Do we have a trailer? Let's go find a specific trailer for this stuff. Um, where's trailers? Header trailers. Um, that's not really a header though, is the issue. Alright. I know what I'm gonna do. I am just going to bring this guy away from the cows. I'm just gonna go hook it up, snag it off of the um from the shop over here. Actually, I should have sold everything at the shop. I would have saved like 20%. Dang, I forgot guys, I forgot. I'll get it next time, don't worry. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this over here. And there it is over there. I wonder if this will even be able to pull it, actually. It'll probably be able to pull, but it might be really, really slow. 
How much does this have? 145. Ooh, we might have to just say screw it and buy a new tractor, everybody. I do have a lot. <clears throat> oh, excuse my throw there. I do have a lot of stuff. Oh, ooh, look at that. It's not a three point. Can we just do regular hitch? Hey, it takes regular hitch. Okay, so you probably need like a 300 plus horsepower when you actually get it going. So let's go into our garage, check our leased items here, find our truck. Truck's got 500. All right. So what we're going to do is, does the back of this have a hitch on it too? That'd be really cool if it did. Oh, it doesn't. It has a point for a, uh, like something to attach like a fertilizer on there. All right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to grab the, oh. Where's Duramax? That's not the Duramax. There she is. Oh, yeah, we left it back here. Okay. So I'm going to run up here really quick. We're going to snag this tipper. We're going to move the tipper out of the way so that guy can get planting um, some corn for our cows. Or not for our cows, for our pigs. Because pigs are kind of starving at the moment. All they got is some straw and water, and they don't really eat that much for straw because it's not like their base food. So let's move this out of the way. There you go. You're welcome there. He's going to get moving. We're going to do a little off-roading here. Oh my gosh. And we landed it. All right. I'll probably never do that again. That's pretty sick, though. All right. So, um, in my last video, guys, if you guys didn't see, it wasn't really that much of like an actual like playing video. It was more of me just uh, running around, really trying to find the first 10 gold nuggets, just so I can get, as you guys can see here, check the map out, look at all those gold nuggets everywhere. So during the live stream, um, I think it's going to do Friday at 5.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time, which I think is 3.30 Eastern and I think it's 3.30 Eastern and uh, 6.30 Pacific Time. Um, everywhere else around the world, like if you guys are watching from like, uh, like UK or Australia or something like that, I'm not quite sure what your times would be, so I'd recommend checking it if you guys really want to watch it. Um, but yeah, so 5.30, uh, Friday, the, what is it, 20, 25th? No, 26th? Yeah, 26th uh, is when we will do it. There we go, and now we're attached. Oh, dude, this thing is going to cultivate fields in like half the time, not even half the time, probably, because like two of these are like this, this alone is f like the same size as four of our older one. It's, um... Because you look at it at the side, like you cut each like section in half, that's the size of our single cultivator that we have right now. So I have no doubt that this thing is just gonna plow through everything. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for that. So yeah, live stream. I hope everybody uh, can make an appearance. So you stop by, say hi, chat for a little bit. That's pretty much what we're gonna. It's, I'm gonna do pretty much just gonna be uh, talking with the chat. Um, just yeah, talking to everybody, running around finding the gold nuggets, taking a little bit of some hints from you guys, just a little help. Um, just all of that. I might actually do a little bit of farming. I'm not quite sure yet. I might really try and get all the gold nuggets because a million dollars, that's a crazy amount. Alright, let's actually leave that there. Block the road for a second. Set this truck on the side of the road. This guy's all done. Alright, I hope it can actually pull. So yeah, I'm gonna try. I hope this this smaller tractor here will be actually it'll be able to pull the uh, the cultivator because that thing said 300 horsepower and this thing's like 150. Drop that there. I do need to upgrade all my tractors. I need I do need to get a big one, keep a small one, a medium one. All right, so it'll be able to pull it, but I don't know if it'll be able to pull it through the ground. There we go. All right, and I don't know if I said this yet, but the reason we are buying, or we, the reason we bought Field 24 is because we are going to start some root crops, all right? Probably not gonna do too much with them, just gonna maybe do one or two harvests, then maybe convert the field over to something else. But that is right, you heard it correct. We are gonna be doing root harvests. And by that, I mean, um, 
Oh, what is it? Potatoes and the, uh, what do you, what's the other one? Beets. Is it beets? Potatoes and beets? Let me check really quick. I don't want to, I don't want to get this one wrong. Potatoes. Potato harvesting. Yeah, potatoes and beets. So yeah, we'll have to buy like, Combines, harvest to indicate food types for com combine to work. I wonder if the regular combines can do. No, looks like none of these ones that we have can do anything other. We have this one right now. So yeah. So yeah, we're going to have to probably buy a new combine for harvesting. For harvesting, yeah. And then also possibly a new planter I think is what it is probably getting a specific uh, potato planter so yeah that's what we is it digging in already oh looks like it's already going oh no it's oh this is excruciatingly slow right, I need to line this up so we can get a perfect here all right there we go Let's get a worker doing this, because okay, this is going to be a lot of tedious work just for me to do, especially on camera. I don't want to do this with you guys having to watch. But look at that. That's one, two, three, four rows if we were using our regular cultivator. That is amazing, actually. You know, let's just go ahead and sell that right now, then. I'm not going to take this back. It's not worth that much money, so I don't really care about it that much. Just worth a thousand. It'll only give us like an extra 200 bucks if we actually took it back. Um, Yep, so we're just going to sell that. Check. So probably not going to be able to get uh, planting this um, like this episode. But hopefully soon here, maybe one or two episodes, we'll get to it. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to hop on this. Um, actually, the Ford is attached to it right now. We needed to go collect some poop. That is right. We need to go collect some poop. So our cows have completely filled up their manure area um, over down, or down by their pasture. So we're going to go collect all of it we can and we're going to bring it back and we're going to put it in the, uh, actually, you know what, let's just straight up bring the manure spreader down with us, fill it up from there, then bring it back. That'll be better. So we don't have to take like a scoop load or we don't have to redo our, uh, what do you want to call them? Our conveyor belts. Oh yeah, we still got about 4% left. That's not bad. Alright, so that's been sitting there for a while too. That'll probably be real stinky. Alright, so we're going to bring this all the way back down to the cows. I'm going to drive underneath the conveyor belt that I have set up and we should be able to pick it up very nice and organized. And then I also want to know guys, um, do you know the silage that I have in between the bunkers by the cows? Can you put, I feel like you can if you have it close enough, but do you guys know if you can put conveyor belts there and pipe out all that silage I have in there into like, I can pipe it out into like a tipper or something like that? If you guys know I can or not, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, that'll help me out a lot. It'll basically, it'll tell me what I want to do next. Mainly because I, I have so much chaff just sitting over there. And then I also feel like you, you might be able to sell chaff, but I'm not sure yet. Alright, we'll drive around here. And then on my last video, guys, with the whole gold nugget thing, uh, you guys gave me a lot of really valuable input. Like, um, everybody said, like, up there, um, behind me, there was a gold nugget I missed, which I was looking for, but I couldn't find it for some reason. And then I figured it out. It was because it was on top of the roof, which is a really weird place to have to get to. So I'm not really sure I'm going to get that that easily. But there we go. Driving up under there. But, yeah, that's what I'll end up having to do. Then I'll keep you guys updated with the progress on pigs and cows. So I'm getting there with all the food and everything back after I did that time lapse. It kind of screwed everything up, from to be honest. Um, but we started out with nine pigs. We're at 22. Started out with 20 cows. We're at 24. Um, obviously, pigs reproduce a lot faster. So I could probably go and sell a bunch of pigs. But I'm gonna wait till I hit 50 pigs and start selling. Um, if you guys didn't see the video I did with the squad on his little server, um, he's going for 200. That's right, 200 pigs before he starts to sell them. Um, I don't know if he'll change that later on when he sees like how many that really is. He's probably going to hit that number pretty quickly. Um, 
But yeah, that's it's pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. Alright, where are we at? That's almost done. Oh, we need to, before this episode ends, we need to wash our truck off. It's getting dirty. Alright, 59%. What do we got over here? Not much left, is there? It's funny just to see it slowly deteriorate like that. We also, at F1, not, F, not 2. We also, we can start pumping out some slurry, start using some flur uh, flurry, start using some slurry. But I'm not sure yet. I know you can bring that to like the biogas plant, which is the McLean biogas plant, which is up in that area over there, right next to the pigs, right west of the pigs. So that's um, definitely an option right now, actually. Because I know pigs produce a ton of slurry, too. Yeah, probably a lot more than cows now that I think about it. Is that like a little ventilation area? What, what do we got here? Alright, so did we fill up or did we empty? looks like we might have just finished let's check I think we I think I don't think we're full I think we just oh wow we are actually never mind so we have got all of that taken care of all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this manure and I'm gonna spread it all along field 24 and whoa, we're going to look a little crazy there and I'm going to spread along field 24, and we're spread along field 15, because those are the two fields I'm going to be planted on next. Uh, 15 is being planted right now. 24 is going to be planted with um, the root crops. Oh, comment down below, guys. Let me know. Do you guys want to see, or let me know which one's better, actually, uh, potatoes or beets? Uh, let me know. Uh, if one's cheaper than the other, that'd be perfect. So I just really am curious. If you guys want to see one over the other, I'll do that. So whichever... Whichever one gets more comments down below is the one I'll do for 100% sure. Uh, potatoes or beets, just comment down below, potato or beet, and that's what I will do. Alright, now we're making our way over here. Oh no, you missed the little strip. Oh, I'm gonna probably just gonna go back and correct that manually. Oh no. Oh, that's my fault though. That I did that. Alright. Wonder. I think I think I know my issue is right now. I can't use the manure spreader. I think I gotta go get the tractor before I try and use the manure spreader. But wow, that thing's like one pass and it's almost done already. That's that entire field and like the time I, we've just been sitting here talking. All right, let's go over here. Let's see if I can spread this manure right here. If it's not, I'll have to buy a new tractor. I have to get a new tractor. I do really want a new tractor too. So there's that. Yeah, I definitely need to use a tractor for this. All right, let's just detach. Um, oh, no, wrong button, that was E. All right, so we're gonna take our uh, our Duramax over here. We're gonna clean it off, we're gonna get it all done. And then we will end the episode with a nice, perfectly royal blue, clean Duramax. All right, let's chill around here. That was loud, that was real loud. All right, get your window tires, get your rear bumper, get everything, make sure the bed is all good. You just gotta kinda hold it on there and it does pretty good. Oh man, it looks so much better when it's clean. But it gets so dirty so quickly because I have like these dirt mods on. That like, it's like, I don't know what you call it. It's just weird. But it works and I like it. Alright. Put this back on the stand. Bed is all good. All right, our Silverado is now perfectly clean. Look at that. Mm. All right, guys. So I think we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay in tune for this one. Don't forget, comment down below. Let me know, beets or potatoes. I will greatly appreciate whatever you guys say, and I'll do that for the next episode um, or one of the next upcoming episodes. I'll do it really, really soon. As long as you guys comment below. Thank you guys for watching. If you aren't subscribed yet, hit that sub button. I would greatly appreciate you guys hitting that sub button. I'd like to see it. We're, we're closing on uh, 20,000 mark, and that is not that far away. I think we're at, what, 16 almost or something around there. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.